Today we are going to talk about how to install the SD scripts on Linux for low R-Ray training. If you're interested in stable diffusion and low raw training, you may have encountered challenges in installing the SD scripts on Linux. Fret not, we've got you covered. In this YouTube video, we'll guide you through the process of installing the SD scripts on Linux for low raw training. With our step-by-step -step instructions, you'll be able to successfully install the SD scripts on your Linux system in no time and start your low raw training journey. Don't forget to watch until the end of the video for some bonus tips and tricks, as well as information on where to find additional resources for low raw training. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel to stay up to date with our latest tutorials and guides. Your support means a lot to us, and we look forward to continuing to provide valuable content for you in the future. Thank you for watching. We will use Conda to manage our Python environment, and we need to check for the NVIDIA CUDA version first. To check the CUDA version, we enter NVIDIA minus my in the terminal. I have installed the CUDA version 12.1. We can now install the SD script using git clone. In the terminal, type git clone and then the SD script URL. Press enter. It will download the project to the SD scripts folder. We will use Conda to manage our Python environment. To create a new environment for the SD scripts, in the terminal, we type conda create minus nsd scripts python equal 3.10. Press enter. It will then create the environment for us. Before we can use the environment, we need to activate it. To activate it, in the terminal, type Conda activate SD scripts. We now see how to install the requirements for SD scripts. It said we need to install PyTorch first. We are going to install the 1.13, one version. Choose the CUDA version that matches your installed CUDA version. I'm using CUDA 12.1, there is no matching PyTorch version for me. I choose the latest one, CUDA version 11.7 for me in that case. Copy the command and paste it into the terminal. Before we continue, I want to take a moment to ask for your support. If you're finding this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel to stay up to date with our latest content. In addition, if you're really enjoying our videos and want to help us create more great content, please consider supporting us on Patreon. With your help, we can continue to create high-quality tutorials like this one and bring even more value to our viewers. Thank you for your support, and let's get back to the tutorial. OK, we have installed the SD scripts project. And install the virtual environments. And install PyTorch. We need to install the requirements now. Copy the command and paste in the terminal. It will install all dependencies for us.
For the X-Formers, I don't follow the instructions here. Instead, I will install it using Conda. To install X-Formers using Conda, in the terminal type, Conda install X-Formers minus the X-Formers. It will install the correct version for us. At that point, we had installed all packages we needed. We can now prepare the dataset for the training. I will create a folder name training for that. Inside the training folder, I will create a few more folders. One is image. I will put all my dataset images here, together with the caption. I assume you have created your caption files and preprocessed the images file already. In the caption file, I will put the training instance name at the beginning. I will do it for every caption file. To do the low RA training using SD scripts, we need two config file. One is for the training. The other is for the dataset settings. In the training config file, we need to set the base model that we will train from. I am using a realistic vision. and we need to set the trained low R rain model directory. We need to see the logging directory. and a prompt file that specifies the positive and negative prompt when generating the sample image during the training. I will also include the instance name in the prompt file. The instance name should be the same as the output name. Also in the dataset config file, we will set the class token to be the instance name plus the class name. For the training, our class is a woman, so the class token will be the instance name plus the woman. In the dataset config, we also need to set the number of repeats for the dataset. All other training settings are set in the training config file. We now have all three files. We are ready to start the training. I will create a bash script file to do that so I don't have to type the command for everything. In the bash scripts, I first change to the SD scripts directory. And then we can type the training command. We will use the train network.py file to train the low RA. We specify the config file in the command line. 
Start training by running the bash script. There is some error. Saying that the bit and byte are not supported. This is because we do not have the correct bit and byte library. If you are using Qtor 11.7 you should have no problem. but I'm using Q to 12.1, so there is a problem here. The easiest way to get the required library is to install using pip, but inside another virtual environment. We create a new conda environment like before. We activate it, and then install the latest bit and byte packages. We can see that there is our required 12.1 version. We just copy and paste the libraries to our bit and byte package folder inside our SD scripts environment. After doing that, we can start the training again. And yes, it is running now. It is training now. The total number of steps it needs is 5,000. It will take around one hour to complete. One hour later, the training finished. And we can find the 10 low RE model files inside the output model directory. The samples are also there. After copying the model to the web UI low RE directory, you can use it like any other low RE model you downloaded from the internet.
The results are pretty good. Congratulations, you can now start training your own low RA model. Very much. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about stable diffusion and low RA training, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. I will put up the other experiments soon. You can also find all the models and images in my Patreon account. The link can be found in the description. Thank you and see you in the next video.